Meanwhile, we are now entering the second week of pro-Palestinian protest encampments on IU's campus in Bloomington. And as Fox 59 Trust McQuaid shows us, demonstrations from both sides can be heard on campus today. After listening to a week of pro-Palestinian chants coming from Dunn Meadow, supporters of Israel decided it was time to hold their own rally just down the street here at Showalter Fountain. And if we don't get it... Pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched on the campus home of IU President Pamela Witten, demanding her dismissal and calling for the university to divest itself of all its investments in Israel and the Crane Naval Station and the Defense Department work it does. The encampment at Dunn Meadow has better organized itself as the week went on, with more on-site services for the sleep-in demonstrators. IU faculty and staff for Israel, that's what they call themselves, held a protest against Hamas rally at the front door of Indiana University Auditorium, the first organized demonstration pushing back at the message that has come out of Dunn Meadow for the last week. We're here to support Israel. We're here to support the students, and we feel that there is no room for any type of intimidation on college campuses, and that's what the Jewish students are feeling. Coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll talk to the Indianapolis grad student who's leading the protests on Dunn Meadow and what he expects to accomplish as he claims the demonstrators are in for the long haul. At IU's campus, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.